Hello everyone. Today I have an interesting challenge. We're going to do the thing that Dan Talweise suggested in Mastodon. It's a benchmark, he says, for getting SwiftUI to work. The benchmark is the following. Let's take a look at this video. You see, the window is being resized horizontally and the text reflows. The buttons at the bottom of the window stay at the bottom of the window and they take up as much space as they need. Squish when the space is getting a bit cramped. But otherwise, this, this looks simple, right? So this is supposed to be doable within 10 minutes in auto layout. I'm going to test this assumption. I'm going to head to Xcode, create a new project. This is already exciting. Uh, auto layout test zip interface builder. Yeah, I think I think nip based is good enough. So here we have Xcode running. Things happen, building works. Oh, let me quickly toggle on D and D. All right. So empty window, good enough. Now let's see what we need to do to recreate the layout there. We need an image view. Uh, it was top aligned with the text. Maybe I can work with this much space. It's a, it's a weird separation vertically, but let's see. Okay, so this is an image. Mm, NS alert. One, warning, alert. Oh man, the auto completion. Caution, of course. Okay, so we have caution. This is a standard 20 point padding. I'm going to assume that we take the leading and top space here. So this stays put. And then we're going to use multi-label, mul wrapping label. Yes, a wrapping label. So at the top. Uh, how do I get this text? That's not how new lines work. Can't press, oh, can't press enter, can't scroll. Option enter, okay, line break. Uh, this is one of the reasons I believe that Swift UI is not production ready. Actually, I think uh, it will make UIs worse for the underlying Concepts making simple. Whoa. Okay, this hard mode underlying concept making a simple case like this hard to implement. Okay, that's good enough. So long label. Let's attach it somehow. Okay, can't click outside of the window, of course, because even though you can see that the label is there, it's not actually there. Horizontal standard spacing, trailing space, top align. All right, what do we have here? The trailing space ought to be the default 20 points. And then just make some room here. All right, so how, how old is this? 2020? Because the top title bar looks like this is an this could be a panel instead of the main window that I'm using here. So maybe I'm cheating by using the main window instead of creating a new one. I'm not sure. Let's add a couple of buttons. Not there. You buffoon. There. Three buttons. What do they say? One says, OK. It's in the bottom right. One says, Cancel. 
and one says lots of text here and from the description all buttons have the same size until the space is insufficient so how do we get them to have the same size that should be hmm, that should be quite easy with auto layout indeed no i don't want to create <sighs> i hate this this probably doesn't work because it started as an independent button and I pasted it into the window later. Yes, so I needed to change the layout to auto resizing mask. And um, what do we have here? Trailing space, bottom space, both, please. Horizontal padding, yes. Also, leading and bottom space should be the default. And then this doesn't need to be what's the minimum when it gets squishy let's stop the can we stop the other animation it looks like 20 points as well it also looks like the margin there is larger than the padding so maybe it's not 20 points in this example details 20 equal greater than or equal 20 so this is an this is a more loose padding. Okay. Now, how do we make sure that there is this line where all the buttons reflow and stay at the bottom? We need to, they, they do have an X and Y position. Yeah. It should complain about a couple of things. No, this needs a Y position. Okay. Baseline. I could also have used the bottom spacing, but I want these to be a group. So that's that's why I'm thinking about uh, baseline alignment. The spacing there is too large. I want the default spacing of 20 between elements. It really looks more like 12. Let's try 12. Like, you know, spacing 12. Maybe it's 10 and I'm just, you know, showing that I have no clue about the default spacings from the top of my head. But one problem we'll have is this. They should not overlap. What happens if we create a vertical spacing and make it bottom spacing? This is going to be 20, I believe. Right? Yeah, let's, let's see what happens. Maybe I need to tweak. No, I don't need to tweak anything. Right, so this is the minimum space. All the buttons have the smallest space available the image needs to be wider it goes until here maybe twice the size i don't know why it started at this size giving it width and height of 2x Scaling up or down. Yeah. Try again. Okay. So the minimum works all right. The resizing, oops, the resizing works as well. But uh, the buttons need to be equal with if space permits. So we'll be using equal widths and equal widths but reduce the priority mm, i don't know 250 is maybe i think from the top of my head i would say 250 is the priority of uh, the window resizing hmm. Proportional width, no, I want equal width. Mm, not, not happy with that result. So, ah, uh, it used the multiplier, of course, of course. I, uh, it uses the on screen values. Now it looks worse, but also more like to spec. And it shrinks. Does it shrink properly? 
first cancel, then OK. What does this one do? It shrinks both at the same time. Mm -hmm. Cancel, cancel, cancel loses all the time. Why might that be? Both have a 251. Uh -huh. Is this probably, oh, no, 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 it gets into the weird territory. Um, at the time limit, I believe, I want to try this one thing now. Content hugging, uh -huh, uh -huh. compression resistance. Does this change anything? Maybe another equal width. That's too strong to really work because now the cancel button is the minimum width, but they size at the same pace. Okay, that's that's the right idea. Equal width to cancel. Two fifty one as well. I'm leaving the weird hugging priority at the moment. Okay, now they shrink at the same time and then the equal width loses and the window width wins. All right, this, this looks good. Okay, 10 minutes, it's possible. Nice. So, next project. This time with a Swift UI. Downloads folder. That's my go to directory to put experiments in because deleting from the downloads folder is quite simple. Okay, let's try to run. And now it's 30 min 13 minutes into the recording, and let us begin to take the time now. Okay, that's the default behavior. So, 10 minutes. System name. Haha. <laughs> Nope, nope, nope. I now know it's NS caution. Scale large. No, not even sure if I need that, but I do want a frame of width 64 and height 64. Okay, that's optional. It's not optional enough. I'll accept match to initial level and it's your name. Duh. Yeah, yes, yes. Does Xcode preview work? Yeah, we see it's something. Hmm. How can we tell it to resize? Should probably be resizable. Yeah, that works. That works. Okay, because I, I know the perfect size, I don't need to fiddle with the fit to width and fit to whatever. Okay, that's a V stack. Uh, image and text should be in an H stack. And the text, I'm not going to type this again. Shaving off a minute or two <laughs> from the from the comparison. I'm I'm not going to. That was my okay there. Cannot preview in this file because the syntax is broken. VG stack, H stack, preview, post, resume. Mm, it should not truncate. Truncation mode. No. <laughs> I don't want truncation. How can I disable truncation if it doesn't fit? But that's the top stack. Now at the bottom, we need another stack maybe. And that stack needs three buttons. 
neither of them needs a text. So we can use the shortest one is probably this. Lots of text. No, no, no. Lots of text. Period. Action. No action. Don't need it to. Mm, that's not how to delete it. Deleting white space. If if you have Vim mode enabled or something, then it's probably simpler. Okay. This. Is that the correct label? Lots of text here. Lots of text here. Okay, that that's that's better. That's better. Now we need a spacer to push them to the edges, and the padding here is not is not what I expect. But it's not a padding around the stack. It's a spacing between the two lines. Spacing. And that's a space. I, I think I would use the default spacing of 20. This is a default spacing of whatever. So I use 12 in interface builder. Okay, 10, 10 was the default, I believe. This this increased a bit. Ah, got that wrong. Okay, let's let's see how it works interactively. <laughs> that's ugly as hell sin and whatever. Okay, so we need to constrain this to not shrink too aggressively. It needs it needs a minimum size. We can agree on that, right? But maximum size works and this does not wrap hard enough. Maybe it's is, is it a line limit? Does it work if I nil the line? No, it doesn't work with the line limit. We're going to use the top alignment because in the free case that I get this to work to use more than five lines or whatever, this should grow further. In the case that I can make this work, um, then both should stay at the top. And also top, top alignment, that's going to do the trick. Max with infinity. No. Hello. Also doesn't work. Let's see what the live rendering looks like. Ah, I need to manually drag it down. No, 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 that's no good. But the top alignment works. And also the maximum height. Ugh, and it, if I wobble, it looks even worse. So, worse, sorry. So this needs this this needs some fixing. If I remove the infinity, that's the guesswork of SwiftUI part, right? Yeah, infinity is probably the maximum anyway. So this done didn't add anything. Let's remove it. Four minutes left. We have everything here. So inserting all the parts was really quick, I believe, because I know how to use V and H stacks minimum width. Um, something to fit. No, no, no. Frame. Uh, size. Fixed size. Horizontal. True, true. Okay, let's try that. Applying this to all the buttons. So this should now be wrong. Okay, at least they push out everything. It's better, but it's not, uh, this is not good enough. And the spacer is too aggressive. Spacer should have a min width of 10. So we should be able to put the no. And also I said 12. So this also doesn't work. We need to look this up in the documentation. I have three minutes left. What can I do in three minutes? Can I do alignment guides? Hmm, probably not. Can I get this to work? Disable the truncation mode. Or maybe 
I don't want the fixed size. What what else is there? Ooh. Okay, okay. That wasn't the shortcut I was looking for. Hmm. Never looked at this fixed size frame thing. Oh, this is cool. I never noticed this, to be frank. No. There you go. Frame, frame, frame. No. Fixed size container relative frame. Mm. Layout priority. Shrink due to the higher priority of the second element. So they have a different priority. <sighs> alignment, alignment, bidding, 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 good sir, good sir, good sir. Save every inside. Okay, I believe that teilweise I'm only having uh, I have, I'm having a hard time coming up with the correct modifier to achieve this exact effect. Don't need a fixed size. I need a minimum minimum width that is the fixed size. Yeah, that's tricky. That's tricky. Hmm. And this is the min length I was looking for. Just remembered that there was an initializer argument. Hmm. It doesn't. Still, still looks. Ah, it's twelve. Ah, okay. So min length of zero. So we have twelve next to the spacer, maybe. But it's still two times twelve. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. So we have twelve here and twelve here, I believe, at the moment. That's sad. That's that's too much space. So we need to use spacers instead of using the spacing. G min length twelve. Padding. Edges length Does this do the trick? Oh. Need to remove the spacing then So this is quite fiddly already And applies horizontal padding to both sides. All right, so this is the minimum. Okay, okay, we got this. So ah, I'm, I'm already a minute over. So yeah, I, I think I think that's the point. This is getting the first kind of ugly thing started and sketching the stacks was very fast. And uh, looking back, I felt quite productive and uh, like, like this this worked really well. And even the previews this time didn't disappoint. So that was nice to sketch out everything, but then figuring out all the constraints, like like this weird padding issue. I mean, that's, that's more like a workaround, but maybe I'm holding it wrong in a different way. Maybe I can like fix this to the left side and fix these at the, in, a, in another H stack to the right side, you know? Because it's not, is it really padding around this one or is it really spacing between these? Are these philosophical questions? You could say so. But also, yeah. I mean, what, what do we know? Now the spacing here is gone and then we can apply spacing of 12 here. Okay, this, this is better. Now, how do you apply equal width to two buttons in an H stack and tell it to apply the same? 
I know I know one trick. I'm going to show my settle custom real quick. Column button, I believe. Mm. Swift UI. Of course the web can went to sleep. That's not helping. In the meantime, while I wake it up. There it is again. Funny thing is, how to sleep is uh, toggled off, so I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, I was looking for um, uh, Swift UI equal with h stack two columns at equal width. So what you can do is um, apply infinite pressure from the inside of each element. So if you have a stack that has some space and the, the, the text, the intrinsic content size is different, you can tell it to apply outward pressure at the same rate with this, like in infinity max width, that can work. And I also wrote an abstraction, I abstracted this in some way, so hmm, not sure. Will this do the trick? Why alignment? What was the alignment good for again? leading in an H stack. I'm not sure, I'm just replicating the, the layout here. So now both buttons should either be comedically huge. No, they take up they take up a lot of space, but the fixed size is not allowing them to actually grow. So they have like no 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 this this is also this isn't it. Yeah that's so weird. Again I, I think I think there's a point. No action, but a text that says cancel and then make this one larger. Yes, but now it's not centered anymore or because I said leading. Yeah, sure, sure. Maybe. Yep. Okay, so now we have a two column layout. Ooh, but that's already stretching things a bit. We, we can apply this. Yeah, so they are now uniformly shrinking, but now they're shrinking too much again because there's no minimum width. Hmm. Yeah, again, 10 minutes, 10 minutes have been uh, stretched completely, but um, my my sweet saddle customs and the text isn't centered. Ah, okay, okay. I could just as well move. Uh, this was this was a different use case then. Uh, and how can I pin views with the line guides? Pinning doesn't help. So we have to uh, we have to unpack a couple of advanced techniques now to to make the layout truly work. And that's not ideal because the challenge was to just replicate this rather simple layout, right? I I have to admit I can't. I can't within 10 minutes and I can't with uh, five minutes more. Yeah, so so what's the verdict? Yes, auto layout is uh, easier to achieve these constraints between elements. You can just tell the one button to be of the same size, size as, the, as the other button. Maybe you need to write your own layout thingies. I have no clue, I have no clue. This is way beyond the um, the depth that I was anticipating. I had hoped um, that we would be getting better results within the 10 minutes, but this is, why does, why is, uh, yeah, why, why is this not growing more, right? Like. What is the magic incantation to apply maximum vertical pressure from the text outward? I don't know. Hmm. 
maybe it's because the window size is just winning. Maybe the, the constraints are just too strong. It doesn't start at the same, same size. Why, why does it truncate? I don't want it to truncate. I want it to, yeah, but I can't turn truncation off. fit the available space. Disable truncation. No, that's obviously not, not, not what's available. And if you just scroll through the modify list, you'll be reading this in a year. Yeah. Weird. So experiment has failed. Auto layout truly one. Um, I'm, I'm looking out for you, Swift UI experts, to replicate this and apply to the to this challenge, uh, try to make this work. And I'm I'm curious to see your results. Have I have I ever used anything weird that like pushed me in a in a corner that I couldn't program myself out of? Like, do do these stacks apply uh, too much pressure? Are stacks the the wrong tool for the job? I don't believe they are, but I, I might be wrong. So um, I'm looking forward to uh, to to other <laughs> to other challenge runs. The 10 minute mark. I've shown you the. Um, code for the reference implementation, the, the um, auto layout implementation. I'm going to fix Red Z. I'm going to fix typos like this, and then I'll upload this to uh, GitHub so you can start with that and inspect this and play around with this if you want to as a reference implementation. And if you figure out some way to do this within 10 minutes in Swift UI without practicing the winning route first, like this is not speed running. Right. This is the intention here is not to speed run it, figure out the best combo to get the job done and then just type the same combo um, in a 10 minute time limit. It's, it's about what do you do? What do you know now? What do you know now and how can you solve this problem with the knowledge that you have? How, how far do you get within 10 minutes? You know? And uh, that's it for now. I want to I want to hear from you. I'm excited to see your results and uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, I hope to. Read and see your solutions soon. Bye-bye.